talking about idiots. I'm talking about bozos here. All right. Bozos. And we, yeah. Do you like that word? Bozos? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that word. Bozos is All right. Funny. So a guy uh, with a jet pack. And I didn't understand the fact that I thought I thought those things had to be given to citizens that had their head, heads on their shoulders correctly, right? No, not at all. Sure what are you talking about? The only people that have those are people who do not have their shit together or their heads on correctly. They are usually engineering geeks that don't fit in with engineering geeks, and they usually have too much money and time on their hands. Okay. So No, I don't think they get... <laughs> Where's the store where level-headed people get jetpacks? I, I, I thought this was more properly vetted than, like, guns, okay? So my point is, is that a person had a jetpack, okay? Uh, this is last Sunday. Uh, an American Airlines uh, pilot, Flight 1997, spot what he believed to be a guy in a jetpack 300 yards left of his plane at about 3,000 feet. Just upon approach... After L, uh, this this plane <clears throat> ascended in LAX airport, all right, and this isn't the first time. This is actually the, the second time that this guy got uh, got called out. Blows my mind. Um, I feel like this is the, the this guy's trying to relive a weird ending to Liar Liar when he pulls up in the uh, uh, what do you call the uh, the, the the stairs? Remember that. I haven't seen you're, Liar Liar. In yeah, I know. Time, you're buddy. pulling like the most obscure of Jim Carrey movies out of your ass. <laughs> That's a deep pull. How was how how Liar Liar a deep pull? All right, first of all, give us give us your thoughts on this clown fucking rocket man and up 3,000 feet. I've been, I've anything outside of a plane, I think I've been about 150 feet, and that was scary. 3,000 feet, this guy's got a couple screws loose comes through uh, playing chicken with a fucking L up with, with an American Airlines plane. I want to hear your thoughts. Alan, you first. I mean, that's silly. Uh, highly illegal, right? Did you mention that? <laughs> it's it's got to be illegal. It's, he didn't register. It's, <laughs> like, this guy, drones are illegal, let alone, yeah, let alone high, humans and illegal. fucking... <laughs> well, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, I, my, point, my point there was, like, I really don't know. If you have the money to get a jetpack, Presumably, you could license yourself to get some airtime. Right. Uh, I mean, why else would you be able to buy jetpacks? And then lawyer, uh, and then lawyer up, right? Well, yeah, mo you probably should lawyer up well before. You should lawyer up probably at purchase time. Quite frankly, <laughs> uh, just 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 a thought. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, stupid. It sounds like a bad idea. What if you get sucked into a fucking like Boeing engine? That would suck. Ugh. Like, there's a lot of fucking. I think risks that were taken that weren't thought of yeah besides just going up with a fucking something attached to your back and then not coming down you i didn't I mean? see i and, and you bring up a good point because like birds have gone into engines and fuck things up i didn't see any reason i've, I've read three different articles on this <clears throat> this guy gave no reason as to why he was doing it other than to be like hey <laughs> jet pack. see yeah. see you boys get on up there get the hell well, where you going to have they called him yet I didn't think they called him. I didn't him see yet. it. No. I haven't, haven't no, no. I don't think they called him yet and I think he knows that they're on the lookout for the guy in the jetpack and he, I trust for whatever reason like pilots aviators tend to not lie about the things they see in the sky oh, which is right. why it's this is always the, This is the aliens thing. Okay, fair enough. Well, no, that's why it's no, well, okay, sort of. <laughs> it's that's why it's always a big deal when a real <laughs> aviator or a pilot like says they saw something. It's like you believe them because like yeah, they're you credible. can't bullshit. You can't bullshit in the sky. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they don't want to hit anything. They really don't care what it is. They'd like to know what it is. They want to make sure it doesn't hit the plane and kill them and everybody that they're flying on the plane itself. Yeah. Um, I looked this up. Okay, so the Empire State Building is uh, 1,250 feet tall, and so it's still higher than two Empire State Buildings stacked on top of each other. The uh, the the New World Trade Center is 1,776 feet tall, so it's roughly two World Trade Centers stacked on top of each other and they say that you really aren't supposed to go more than like 50 to 100 feet off the ground with any known jetpack currently so whoever so this is why i think it's laughable that you guys are like who do they sell these jetpacks to they don't sell jetpacks anywhere in the united states or elsewhere maybe some like i don't know like russian dark website you can like, maybe that's what it. you think sir <laughs> like you can maybe, but these are these are hand built, handmade 
by crazy engineer people out there. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. My only thing is, why was he flying it near LAX, near an, an active? You know, I, I think he wanted to be seen. Well, I, I think, think yeah, he, like like I said, I his his wife and son were, uh, or ex- his ex wife and son were moving off to Boston with uh, her new hobby, and he went to see him off. Like I told you, is this from, the from liar, 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 liar. Yeah, I, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> trying to tell you guys this. God damn it! My question. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking ruined. 